This is Bob. In previous videos, Bob has been learning to calculate depreciation for his fixed assets. Now Bob feels ready to record these calculations as general journal entries. As a reminder, depreciation is when a company expenses a portion of their fixed assets each year. That means that Bob will need to record his depreciation as an expense. Expenses belong on the income statement and are recorded as debits because they reduce owner's equity. But Bob remembered that all journal entries have two sides, a debit and a credit. So where does the credit go? Bob had thought about just using the credit to reduce the equipment account since depreciation reduces fixed assets. Would that be okay? While depreciation might reduce the asset in theory, GAAP rules don't allow us to credit the asset directly. One of the generally accepted accounting principles, known as the historical cost principle, prevents it. The historical cost principle states that all purchases must be recorded on the financial records at their originally purchased cost. So Bob can't change the equipment cost with his depreciation. Instead, we are going to introduce a new account called Accumulated Depreciation. Accumulated Depreciation is where we collect, or accumulate, all of the depreciation expense from prior years for any assets we still own. Accumulated Depreciation belongs in the Long-Term Assets category on the balance sheet, but because it only gets credited, it will always be a negative number. This makes accumulated depreciation a contra-asset account, since it has an opposite normal balance from its category. When you add together all of the fixed asset accounts with accumulated depreciation, the combined total informs readers of Bob's financial statements about what the true value of his fixed assets is without having to change the fixed assets accounts themselves and violating the historical cost principle. That is the purpose of the accumulated depreciation account. So, the proper journal entry for Bob's depreciation would be a debit to depreciation expense and a credit to accumulated depreciation for just the amount of depreciation expense that period. To learn more about depreciation and other accounting topics, check out more of my videos on YouTube or visit ToriNorman.com.